You're watching Alabama's WVUA News at 5. Coming up in home team weather, numerous showers and storms happening across the state, but storms are decreasing. What about the rest of the forecast? Home team weather is coming up. Despite this afternoon's stormy weather, work's been underway for Tuscaloosa's celebration on the river. So will it still happen? And what can you expect? We've got the answer tonight. Also, we'll show you how West Alabama's veterans are celebrating Independence Day, plus how the nation is welcoming home a new generation of servicemen and women. And we're glad you're with us. I'm Lynn Brooks. And I'm Terry Brewer. Happy 4th of July to you. Maybe you've already been enjoying your 4th festivities today, but there's still plenty on tap in Tuscaloosa tonight at the city's celebration on the river. More now on what you can expect from the celebration in just a moment. But first, here's a big question a lot of people are asking right now. How does the weather look tonight? WVA's Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott has a first look. Happy 4th, Richard. Yeah, happy Independence Day, Lynn Brooks and Terry Brewer. We're talking numerous shower storms happening across our state right now. So you have those outdoor plans. Yeah, if you're near a thunderstorm, just head on inside for a while. The good news is the big storms are decreasing. We had a severe thunderstorm warning for Tuscaloosa County a moment ago. That severe thunderstorm warning has expired. The main storms are moving north. Still some rain happening in Tuscaloosa area. And we're going to have some rain at times through the evening hours. But again, the severe weather, the big time thunderstorms, it's over with. Still a little light rain can be expected over the next hour or so, but that should diminish later on tonight. Still some pretty good rain falling now over Sumter County. A big batch of moderate rain happening over Sumter Green, Hell County. This is lifting off towards the east and northeast. And again, some of this could move into the Tuscaloosa area within an hour or so. But all of it is decreasing. So that is good news. You have the plants outdoors for the 4th of July or forecast through this evening. Shower storm still a good bet through 7 o'clock. And 10 o'clock, showers and storms should be on a downhill swing. 72 by midnight, 71 by midnight, 72 degrees by 10 o'clock. What about the rest of that forecast? Home team weather is coming up. Thanks a lot, Richard. Well, storms left uh, a lot of people in West Alabama in the dark this afternoon. Alabama Power said 8,000 people were without power in the company's western division. Tuscaloosa and Jasper were hit especially hard. Demopolis was also affected, but power was fully restored around 3 o'clock this afternoon. With this year's opening of the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater, tonight's celebration on the river is a very first for the city. That's right. People have been at the amphitheater all day getting ready to welcome the crowds and practicing for tonight's show. Listen to that. The free games and activities for kids will begin outside the amphitheater at 6 o'clock. A ticket to see the Tuscaloosa Symphony Orchestra play at the amphitheater at 7.30 tonight is $5 per person. You can buy a family four-pack for $15 and kids will get in. Kids five and under will get in free. It's going to be a great day here. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a little bit for everybody. We've got the sun. We've got ice being poured into ice coolers in the back to keep things cool. We've got the Sons of the American Revolution coming out here with all their flags. They're going to be dressed in military garb from the time of 1700s with their muskets. We've got face painting. We got balloon makers. We got everything. So come on down. And here's a look at the schedule for tonight's celebration on the river. Parker towing towboat tours at the dock of the Bama Bell, plus the Army Corps of Engineers. And children's hands-on museum displays continue until 6 o'clock. At 6, Paris free activities and games for kids begin at 6 o'clock, and they continue until dusk. Gates open at the amphitheater at 7, and the music starts at 7.30. The fireworks display will begin at 9 o'clock. Now, we will bring you coverage from the celebration and a look at the fireworks tonight on WVUA News at 10 o'clock. The 4th of July is also a time to acknowledge Americans who've served in our military. New for you at 5, a look at how some of West Alabama's veterans are enjoying the 4th of July, celebrating America, and also helping other veterans. VFW Post 6022 in Cottondale and its Ladies Auxiliary hosted a barbecue today. All the proceeds from the barbecue will go to the VFW's Veterans Assistance and Community Service Program funds. The VFW also hosted an open house at their post and a membership drive to welcome any veterans who qualify for membership to the VFW. We're not just a bar, we're not just a water and hole, we're so much more than that. And that's the point I would like to try to get across, to try to get more veterans to get, to get interested in joining and helping out in the community and, and, and helping our post home. And speaking of veterans, these days a new generation of veterans is returning home 
from fighting overseas. Reporter Karen Kafa shows you how Americans are helping make their homecoming and recovery successful. Master Sergeant Spanky Gibson knows what it's like to shift from combat back to the home front. You're checking out everything and everyone. So when you get into that mindset over a period of six or seven months and then you come back, it's hard. You know, it's hard to downshift it very quickly. The two decade Marine Corps veteran has done it a number of times, like so many members of the new generation of wounded warriors. This is the uh, one of the Wounded Warrior Complex barracks right like in here. Like pieces of the transition puzzle, this cluster at Virginia's Fort Belvoir includes barracks, a resource center, and a new hospital that will start seeing patients in August. There's more than just physical recovery that has to take place. They have to recover physically, emotionally, and socially with their families. And here, the USO has broken ground on a Wounded Warrior and Family Center, the first of its kind in the U.S., with the second to follow at the Walter Reed Medical Center in Maryland. The lighting, the floor material, the layout, the art of bringing the outside in, all based on a premise of an architecture of healing. We've consulted with uh, leading medical professionals on what colors, even what smells, are, are the kinds of smells that are going to be most conducive to, to, the, to the broad process of healing. Focusing on wounds that aren't always apparent to the eye, but still need care, a process they won't have to face alone. That's all these new wounded warriors and families need to know is we, the older ones, are going to make sure that they're taken care of. At Fort Belvoir, Virginia, I'm Karen Kafa. And one way to support the care of local veterans is to support the Tuscaloosa VA Medical Center. You can contact the VA's Voluntary Service Office to donate or to volunteer. Here's the number, 205 554 3550. Impact Nation Church was another place to congregate today for food, family, and fun. Also, children's activities and a live DJ put some pizzazz into today's patriotic holiday. Coordinators told us the event was for the entire community and also for tornado survivors who simply no longer have a place to celebrate. The daytime activities, we're told, are just a preview of a night of entertainment. That's a benefit concert that kicks off at 7 o'clock tonight. It's happening at Cornerstone Baptist Church. The April 27th tornadoes have brought amazing stories of loss, survival, and resilience, but there are also so many untold stories out there. And if you have a storm-related story you would like to share, just go to our website, wvoatv.com. Click on the graphic on the right side of our homepage. It says Alabama tornadoes. We are also interested in seeing the pictures and video you shot after the storm, so send those our way. This time last year, Alabama's beaches were scarce with people because of the Gulf oil spill. Fast forward one year and tourism officials say it's a different story. Gulf Coast officials say almost all of the condos and hotels in southern Baldwin County are full through today. All of the area's campsites are occupied and many guests are staying through next weekend. Alabama State Tourism Agency used $3.5 million provided by BP to help attract visitors with commercials that aired from Baton Rouge, Louisiana to Atlanta. Also this long holiday weekend, police in Memphis are investigating the shooting death of a police officer and another man at a busy downtown hotel. A suspect is in custody in the case. Officials say it started as a domestic dispute. Officer Timothy Warren, who you see right here, was one of several officers who responded to the call at the Doubletree Hotel around 7 last night. Warren later died at the hospital. The other victim, whose identity has not been released, died at the scene.